Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Text. Do you need a compact and quiet cooler for your PC case? That's where this product comes in. It's from Be Quiet. It's the Pure Rock Slim 2, obviously from Be Quiet. And as you can see, it is a CPU cooler. It's got a recommended retail price of roughly around about £24. So it's got a pretty good price. So let's see if it does what it says on the box. We've got links in the description just below if you are interested in purchasing. Before we go on to the main video, if you would do us a favour, click that like button, subscribe, click the bell as well. And that way you'll get notifications of new videos and live streams we do. Again, doing all these things helps support the channel and helping to support the channel allows us to release more videos, better quality videos and more content exclusively just for you. Okay, as you can see, we've got the Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim 2 Quiet and Compact Cooling Essential. That's basically more like value range, but don't get me wrong, their value range is still a lot better than some uh, manufacturers' pro range. So this is their essential. So the box itself, as you can see, it does tell you some information on the side there. It does tell you what CPUs it'll work on. So pretty much most of the modern ones. So Intel 1200, 1150 series, 1151, 1155. Also an AM4 and AM3, uh, as well as AM3 Plus as well. And it's got a maximum power capacity of 130 watts TDP. So that gives you a rough idea. So that's enough to cool our 10700 KF processor, which we're going to be testing it on. On the back, it shows you a bit more information about what it looks like. So it gives you a rough idea. It's also got a QR code on the side as well. Uh, so as we said, it's got a high 130 watt TDP cooling efficiency. It's optimized. AMD mounting for even easy installation, fully confi uh, sorry, full configuration of RAM memory banks, so in other words it shouldn't get in the way of your RAM, which is pretty good. It's got three heat pipes, it looks like six, but it's three what basically go all the way around, uh, so it gives you a rough idea. The fan is a Pure Wings 2 92mm PWM fan. Uh, which obviously gives you variable speeds and it's got a brushed aluminium finish with a three year manufacturer sorry a three year manufacturer's warranty and all that for 24 quid basically so let's open it up and see what we've got in the box okay so this is everything in the box let's start off with the least important and that's the paperwork so you do have a manual here tells you how to fit it and everything like that it is sort of in colorish mainly all grey with a few orange bits is probably the best way of putting it and the back well it's pretty much empty to be honest so there's a lot of paper there and then you've also got another piece of paper uh, about recycling don't i'm not sure why they don't bother putting all this using the qr code there's a qr code on the box and uh, put inside the lid or something like say please scan this qr code to view the manual latest manual because not only that you'll get the latest manual so if they need to edit it they can do and put any revisions in it also saves the environment less paper being printed and it saves the manufacturer money which should hopefully mean cheaper products in the long run maybe only a few pens for paper but it, oh, every little helps so right next we've got some clips that's to clip the fan onto the cooler as well as some uh, sort of brackets is probably the best way of putting it so the basics is to fit this into your pc case it's already pretty much set up for an amd um cool or an amd cpu or so you basically just clip those little bits there over the actual retention socket on the board and then just pull the levers and it clips in just like most AMD coolers. If you're wanting to fit it to an A uh, Intel motherboard, you connect up these here. So you just unscrew those two screws there and screw that on. And then the same for the other side. And then that just basically mounts like a, a stock Intel cooler. Then you just push these pressure pads down into the holes on the motherboard and it clips in. You don't need any backing plates or anything like that. So it should mount with 
well, with ease really, and especially for AMD users, because they don't even have to screw anything on. Then obviously you need to fit your fan, depending on which way you've got it positioned and how you want it. But as you can see there, you just get the fan. Best way to do it is make sure the right end lines up with the bottom. So it just pushes on the side there. You get these clips or clamps, whatever you want to call them. Put them over the side holes and then push back and the clip in there. And then do the same with the other one for the other side. So two in, whoop. Can be a bit fiddly sometimes these. And then again you pull back and it clicks in. Okay, so it gives you a rough idea how to fit it. Let's have a closer look at the cooler itself. So at the top you can see obviously their logo, so it says Be Quiet, it's got a slight bit of design on there, brushed aluminium. You've got six circular bits there, that's actually the heat pipes, there's three heat pipes so it loops all the way around and comes back the other side and same for each one. So that's pretty straightforward. You can see through it just about, there's no RGB illumination or anything like that. You can see the heat pipes as they go through, you can see the copper on the bottom as they loop for it around into the base. The brace, base looks like it's uh, either aluminium or nickel uh, with the heat pipes running straight through it. And then you've got a pre-applied thermal paste uh, on the bottom there already, which is sort of a whitish colour, but there's a good amount of it, so you should all be fine. And then the fan itself, it's one of those silent wing fans, so it's got that sort of rigid effect to it. So again, it's a nice little fan, well, say little, 92 millimetres, smaller than the average these days. Most, most things are usually going up to about 120, but again, it is designed to be a compact cooler, so ideal, ideal for these smaller cases. And obviously, it's designed to be quiet as well. Okay, down to testing. In basics, all testing is done on the same machine, with the same version of Windows, with the same version of programs. We disable internet access, so no programs, updates or anything can be installed or updates what can affect any of the results. All background tasks which are non-essential get disabled, so again, they will not affect the testing. The testing room has air conditioning slash heaters built in to keep the temperature at 18.5 degrees Celsius. Also, decibel levels are at a steady 45.6 decibels. When testing things like fans, we set the speeds at 50% and 100% and not auto, because obviously if you've got something set at auto, it will adjust the fan speed up and down to adjust the temperature to the optimal temperature, so it can affect results. So we set the fan speeds at set uh, speeds like 50% and 100%. All testing is done on a 10700K i7 processor, 16 gig of RAM, as well as a FiCuda SSD and the same motherboard and all the other components are the same for every single test. Full specifications are in the description. Okay, so down to the test results. With the fan running at 50% speed and the machine sitting idle, so basically sitting in windows and doing nothing, we got 22 degrees Celsius. When we put the machine under full load, so it was working as hard as it could, uh, with the fan running at 50% speed, we got 78 degrees. When we up the fan up to 100%, with the machine still running at 100% load, we got 67 degrees Celsius. We did try overclocking, but unfortunately, the machine would down clock itself, so slow itself down because it was getting too hot. So yes, it was stable, but it was slowing itself down. So I wouldn't really advise it. I would say the CPU cooler would be more better aimed at something like an i3, i5, or Ryzen 3, or Ryzen 5 processor, rather than a top end i7, or i9, or Ryzen 7. Noise levels, well, in basics, while the fan was running at 50% speed, you couldn't actually hear the fan. The rest of the components in the machine were making more noise than the fan actually was. When sticking it up to 100%, it does make it a little bit more audible, but again, barely audible. So, in more than likely, you would not hear the noise it was making inside your computer. Uh, actual results, 47.8 decibels on 50% speed and 49 decibels on 100 percent speed. 
So in conclusion, while this is a value essential, low end, whatever you want to call it, cooler, but it performs pretty well considering it was able to pull down an i7 processor with ease, did get a little bit toasty, went under full load for 30 minutes, but saying that, it is more designed to be running on something like an i3 or an i5 processor or Ryzen 3 or 5, so I wouldn't suggest putting it on a top end CPU, and if you are going to do any overclocking, just make sure it's more on one of the lower end machines. If you do want to do overclocking, I would suggest you spend a little bit more money on a cooler, but saying that, this is a £25 cooler, it does pretty well it's very quiet so if you do need a cooler that is very quiet especially on a lower end processor or mid end then this could be the cooler for you thank you for watching this video everyone it's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end please make sure you subscribe like comment and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams it does help support the channel and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you and also better quality content going forward thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time